Good morning. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing my Watt Solds for last week. Um, this first video is going to be for Monday through Thursday, September 20th through the 23rd. I'm running a little late with this. I've kind of had a sinus infection all week and it's just made me not feel very good. But um, it's been a good week. Not what I'm expecting as far as fourth quarter, but it's the end of the month and it's always a little bit slower then and people are going back to school and you know, all of the, all these things. But I'm hoping fourth quarter that starts tomorrow. All right, um, I'm gonna do this again in two days. Um, this is the Monday through Thursday and then later today I'm gonna do Friday through um, Sunday. I kind of messed up with something and I'll explain it in the next video. So it was a very low sales weekend, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about uh, why I don't mind selling things that are in the $8 or less range. Cause somebody asked a question, so I thought I might as well take one of my videos and add that onto it. So let's get started. All right, this first item, I've talked about this brand. I actually think I actually featured this in one of my hauls. This is Decor. It's D-A-E-K-O-R. I pick them up whenever I see them. And the, the stuffed animals are very unique in the fact that they have these big fat bellies because they're called pot bellies. And there's bears, and this one is a raccoon. I don't remember where I picked it up. Probably a dollar or less, um, but I did sell it for best offer of $10. This was a surprise. This um, book I picked up at an estate sale. I paid $2. I featured it recently in a haul. And I took a best off for $40, but when I was doing um, comps for that video, I realized I probably undersold this. It's selling in the upper 40s and into the $50. Um, this was just, it's a pop-up book. When you open it up, there were varying pages where, you know, it pops up and tells the story of The Night Before Christmas. Very unique book. Definitely watch out for it. We have been selling jeans pretty regularly. I've got to get um, some more processed, meaning I need to do the listing, I mean, do the measurements and everything. My husband's down to just one little pile over here that he needs to take pictures for me. And I can't let him get caught up. So these were Levi's 912s. They are vintage. And I usually say that because if they're made of 100% cotton, I think they're vintage. I really don't know. I'm just learning all of this myself. Um, but I ended up taking, um, no, I did sell it for the $34.68. I'm telling you, we are sometimes paying three dollars but for the most part two dollars or less on the jeans that we're picking up at yard sales so that was a very nice profit these also and the previous one i just showed i listed these two in the morning and i sold them within an hour of listing them um, these are pointer bibs overalls um, we they had some stains which we did disclose and take pictures of but I listed them for $24.68 and they sold immediately. So bibs are always a good thing to pick up. This is a Coles Cares Elephant. It was from the book series A Sick Day for Angus McGee. Um, I did end up selling it for $8.32. Again, if you're new to my channel, I do not do free shipping on anything. I have flat rate or calculated shipping on everything that I sell. And I'm gonna talk about that when I talk about my $8 sales in the next video. This was another surprise. Um, I picked up some Pasta Express dyes the other day at a, um, I think it was at the 23 mile yard sale we went to a couple of weeks ago. And I bought it because I saw the dyes in there, and those have been doing quite well for me. I had just sold the previous one. I think it was by Ronco, but it had this plastic measuring cup in there, and believe it or not, that's the 
the big money seller for the whole lot. I'd listed it and sold it probably within the week for $20.41. Crazy. It's just a plastic measuring cup. This is a terry cloth bear. It didn't have any tags, so I didn't know the brand. And sometimes those are hard sales because it takes somebody actually really looking for this. Terry cloth being the big word that I used for this. Very little, three and a half inches, and I did sell it for best offer of $8. This is the Legend of Spookly Square Pumpkin Plush picked it up somewhere, probably again a dollar or less, and I ended up selling it for $18.55. It had been listed a little while, but it's Halloween season, so it sold. I picked these up again on that um, 23 mile yard sale we just featured recently. I don't even think the video's out yet, but um, this was a Linux brand silverware set. It was most of it was 12-piece play setting, but there were a few teaspoons and tablespoons missing. Um, had some light wear. I paid $30 for the whole lot. It was heavy. It had, I want to say, like 8 or 10 of the serving utensils and everything. But I listed it. The only ones I could find on eBay were brand new. So I went a little bit less than the brand new. And I, again, for some reason, I'm really enjoying listing Four, play, four pieces to a place setting. They seem to be selling really well that way. And I sold, I've got two back to back. These four small spoons, they weren't really teaspoons, they were smaller than a teaspoon, so I didn't know what to call them. For $12.04, uh, my little cheat sheets right here. And then the next one I also sold the four teaspoons for um, $12.04. The price is less right now because I have a larger um, percent sale going right now. And I've actually sold another set. I think it's in the next video. These are from my high bid auction that I've been featuring in some of my hauls. These were Kellogg's um, Beanbag Bunch. It had Toucan Sam, Tony the Tiger, the Rooster from Kellogg's, and Diggum. And they were all still in their bags, and I ended up selling them for the $18.55. I think almost every video I've been, um, what sold video, I'm selling these. I'm down to probably 10 or so left. I had a huge bag of them, paid a quarter for them at an estate sale, and I have been selling them anywhere from $15 to almost $20.00 but I did end up selling this one for $18.55. This was just a unique little plush I picked up. I mean, it's two and a half inches and it's got a key ring on it. It's Bukowski design, teeny tiny dog, and I ended up selling it for $9, yes, $9.75 best offer. I'm trying to really um, take my offers as I get them. I'm making money, definitely profit on these items. Sometimes I just um, pick a price point and be willing to take offers, and that's what I did with this. This is a White Mountain Puzzle. It was new and sealed, and I ended up taking a best offer of $11 for it. We went back and forth, but she ended up taking the $11. I've got tons of puzzles to list right now. This I featured in a recent haul. This was a Cupie Baby. I bought a whole bundle. So her part of it was, um, was I think, $10. And I ended up selling her for um, best offer of $31. Very cute. These I picked up earlier in the summer. I went to a thrift store and it was all fill a bag for um, $10. And I crammed them full. And it was a lot of these Spark Create Imagine plush. And they all had their tags. And I ended up selling the last of these. Um, he went ahead and offered me. I think we ended up at $7.50 each. Let me look here. Yeah, so he paid a total of $22.50 for the three. But it's just an, more space in a basket to fill with more stuff. 
This is Hug Fun. It's a chicken. Um, I have picked up these several times. Like I've told you, unique plush um, sell better a lot of times. And I ended up selling this chicken for $13.90. This is a Yogi Bear plush. Don't remember where I picked him up. Um, but I ended up selling him for the $16.69. He was from 1995. He did have his green tie. Sometimes you find these and the ties missing, been cut. Sometimes they're made out of that felt and they're just very fragile. But this is a sad story. I ended up selling this copper red mini grill for $15 and they sent they um, filed a return for broken and sent me pictures. It was demolished. The box was destroyed. I haven't filed the um, claim yet. I'm going to try, but I have had zero luck filing claims with for postal damage here recently. And I, I don't, I don't, I need to start filing appeals, which I haven't to this point. But, I mean, this one was destroyed. So, I've already given a refund. This um, I believe was from my online auction also, and it's a Gund Zales Bear Plush. The little heart in the front there was an actual um, gift box, and I ended up selling him for best offer of $12.50. This is Marvin Martians. It was a little five-inch plush, and he had magnets in his hands and feet. He, I didn't wash him in the washing machine so his hands were just a little bit dingy but I did post that in the listing and he did sell for eight dollars like I said I'm taking offers right now because I'm hoping that it'll just kind of boost you in the algorithm and get stuff moving this is Aurora I picked this up it's one of it's a good brand, but it's a slow mover for me, unless it's very specialized. And I did end up selling him for best offer of $9. I think a lot of these ones that I say $9 or $8 even, I have sent the offers out. Because that's typically how I do it. If it's like this one listed for, it's on sale for $10.18. If it's on my make an offer list, I'll send it for $9. And hopefully they'll come back. And either accept my offer or come back with a counter offer. This is a Sesame Street Bert and Ernie cake pan by Wilton. I don't pick these up very often, but I am positive this is one of those I went to a yard sale and everything was free and I picked up a couple of cake pans. Um, I think this one did go through the global shipping program and it did sell for the $9.25. This is Soft Things. It's a vintage brand that I like picking up. A lot of times it looks like the type of stuff you got at carnivals or in those like claw machines. Um, a lot of times they're that hard stuffing. But I ended up selling this, I think, because it's Halloween and I sold it for the $12.04. This is, again, another one. It didn't have a tag, so I didn't know the brand. Just put in all the correct keywords, horse, pony. Although, funny thing is, my husband and I just had a conversation about the word pony. I've always thought it was a baby horse, but come to find out, it's just a small horse. Babies are foals. I didn't know this stuff. We had to Google it, because I didn't trust that he was not pulling my leg. But I ended up selling this. It's, it's a larger plush, and it was kind of heavy, um, but I did take a best offer of $10 for it. This is a backpack that I picked up at Finders Keepers. The first weekend we ever went there, I paid a dollar for everything that day, and I ended up selling this backpack for $12. There, I have them packed in these those big 18 by 18 by 24 boxes, so I'm trying to get rid of them because... With all the processing I've been doing, I am running very low on space. We just ordered four more shelves 
shelving units from Sam's Club because I need more space. It's a good problem to have. This took a while and I'm surprised. Um, I'm sure I got this last year and it's been listed the, this whole season. Um, but it is a When Pigs Fly football plush. It's kind of that fake leather, I think, faux leather. But it did um, make sounds when you threw it. Very cute, but it took a little while to sell. And But I did sell it for the $27.85. I think I featured these recently. Picked them up at an estate sale. Probably paid a dollar or two for it. Maybe three. Um, and I ended up selling it for the $13.90. They were just very cute. Shaped like the... the I, I struggled when I put this in the, the haul video. The For cards. The design for cards. The clubs, the spades, the diamonds, the hearts. I can't remember the word. This is a Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty robe. Sometimes I list these when they're very unique all by themselves. I've, um, but a lot of times I make little small lots. I've got a ton I need to get listed. I just kind of pile them up over here and I, I need to get to them and make small lots to get them moving. Cause right now the, I need to be listing this stuff. But I ended up selling it for Oh, eight dollars best offer. Again, I'm just trying to move stuff. And eight dollars is an excellent price for a single piece of build a bear. These um, have become very popular all of a sudden. I've sold these for a while, but I looked up comps the other day and there were some of these going for really high for just three and four and five of them in a lot. Um, these are the VTech Go Smart Kingdom figures. They talk when you press on them. And I ended up selling these right after I listed them, it seems, for $18.55. There's cars, there's animals. I've done really well with them. This I featured in a haul. This is from one of the consignment sales I went to. I'm pretty sure I paid $2 for it. It is an Alice in Wonderland white rabbit plush. It had a little thing on the back so you could carry it like a purse or a storage thing. But I ended up selling it for $10. And again, another backpack. Um, this is limited to, I had two of them. This was the last one to sell. And I did again, sell it for $18.55. Paid a dollar for it at Finders Keepers. Now I had quite a few Facebook sales. Um, that I'm going to go through, and then some two bonanzas also. This is Ikea um, Hopping Dog. I talk about them all the time. I like picking them up, and I did end up selling this for $8. Somehow, I missed that I had several of these listed all separately, um, but I think only one had its long tag, and it was this one. These are Inesco um, Cats little porcelain figures. I ended up selling them for $10 on Facebook. These are the Clip Clops from Fisher Price. You could put these on these little play sets and the, they go down a hill and make Clip Clop sounds. Um, I've done really well with them. I did sell these three for $17 and it was a multi-order um, and then she bought this one for $5. This is a Hotel Transylvania bat. Picked it up recently also. Maybe even Robert picked it up, but I did it sell it for $10. This is Care Bear Share Bear. Um, it's one of the more contemporary ones and I ended up selling it for $11. This is a Cabbage Patch doll um, that's dressed like a monkey. And I ended up selling it for $7. And again, they're always plus shipping. I love Facebook because they only charge 5% right now fees. And then this is one of the Fisher Price Loving Family dollhouse sets. This was for a nursery and I ended up selling it for $15. And then this were the two Bonanza orders. This was a Walmart pink 
bird plush. It had long skinny legs. I ended up selling it for $7.15. And this this had been listed a while. I'm glad it's finally, it's, it's big, 16 inches. It was just a horse head pillow plush. Um, didn't have a tag, so I didn't know the brand. And I sold it on Bonanza for $19.95. All right, that was highlights of some of the things I sold this past week. Like I've said before, you know, I can show you all the things I pick up, but you know, the solds are what's going to show you that, you know, there's decent profit to be made, especially with the plush and some of the other things we've started picking up. Um, I am behind in my listing because I was just not well this week, but I'm feeling better. Good things happen when you're, you're on antibiotics and prednisone. So I'll hopefully get quite a bit listed, but then again, it's the weekend and we'll probably go out sourcing tomorrow. But I'm going to get some videos done this week, which is, again, slowing down progress too. And we're trying to plan a, a little sourcing trip here real soon also. So I hope you are liking these type videos. Again, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, I appreciate all the comments. I've had some amazing comments. I am really appreciating the, the, the advice I'm getting from y'all as far as things to be um, focusing on as far as new videos. I'm a, I appreciate the comments that you guys send me. They're very helpful. They give me ideas. We are working on um, two new ideas just based on your comments. In fact, the next video I'm going to take one of your ideas on. Um, somebody asked, how do you make profit when you're selling stuff for $8? And I'm going to show you an example of one of the things I sold and um, the profit breakdown. All right. Thanks again.